just to tell you that they don't care about you. We criticize them. We criticize them for poor price increases. And they increase the salaries and allowances of the Ghana Gas Cylinder Manufacturing Company by a whooping 400%. This is what the Kufado Mahmoud Bahadia cabinet is giving to all of us. When we cry more, they top it up by playing $40 million on capacity building for tourism. Young people cry for daily bread and they give us daily scandals. Not a single day go passes under this government without one scandal being given to us. We elected governments to solve our problems. Unfortunately, this government has become our problem that you and I will have to do.
that are put forward by the real government is pumping millions of cities. It's pumping millions of cities into the media to cover their incompetences and to manufacture another version of reality for us. They take all of us as being down. So they pay the media to tell a certain story and change the narrative. Yes, every single day we leave it and we express the absent that this government has bestowed onto all of us. When we tell them our women take beds in hospitals without beds and lights, the president responds by hiring a private jet at $17,000 an hour. When we tell them young people struggle with our jobs, they answer you by appointing their friends and family into high places. We cry about increasing food prices every day. They answer by blowing 3.9 million on the importation and buying of condoms. We complain that times are hard and there is no food on the market. We wake up to a scandal of 12 million worth of fertilizer furnishing. We complain about higher rents and they respond by installing in the middle condition in a two-bedroom house. And I think that is not enough. I think that is not enough. The owner of the two-bedroom house is appointed board chairman. Just to tell you that they don't care about you. We criticize them. We criticize them for poor price increases. And they increase the salaries and allowances of the Ghana Gas Cylinder Manufacturing Company by a little bit 400%. This is what the Kufado Mahmoud Bahamia government is giving to all of us. When we cry more, they top it up by playing $40 million on capacity building for tourism. Young people cry for daily bread and they give us daily scandals. Not a single day go passes under this government without one scandal being given to us. We elected governments to solve our problems. Unfortunately, this government has become our problem that you and I will have to deal with every day. Energy. Energy. To make issues worse and to insult us further when we complain about this untold action and we cry out to our Vice President Mahmoud Bawadia, he goes round on stage and plays Onyame Eshirame as simple. God has blessed me and you are paid. That is what they give us when it's coming down all over this country. My brothers and sisters, we are very much convinced in our hearts and minds that given the frustrations and hardship being visited on us as young citizens of this country, a large Baumia and his MPP government is not somebody we can trust and allow to lead us country into the next year. Yeah. From the ghettos in our communities, through the streets where the boys, boys and girls, girls meet, to the various campuses and halls, through the community of young artisans, creative arts and professional groups, we have observed one thing. The language is very simple. Boys in Allah, girls in Kaya. This government is not that we are becoming poorer or that countless young people, men and women, have lost hope in the country. The one thing that matters to a group of and their people is enriching themselves at your expense, erasing the future, even if it means awarding a 34.7 million dollar contract to his daughters. They don't also care if your future means that willing that slaughter forest to friends and families. The worst of it 
is that the attack and dishonor the memory of our founding father, Dr. Osamu Kwame Nkrumah, and try to elevate their forebears at the forefront of our politics. I remember one lawyer said, hey, I remember one lawyer said that when you go across the borders of this country and you mention J.B. Dakar, they will be taking him for a football at best. That is what they know they know him for. But this government continuously try to run down people like Osaka Kuma, the effrontery of it. For the last seven years, we have worked out democracy decline, decline gradually and accountability thrown to the dogs. According to the 2024 Afro Barometer Report, President Ekufuado has grown increasingly heavy-handed, stifling the media and eroding the accountability of the institutions. Never in the history of our fourth republic have we sunk this low as a country, but all hope is not lost. I believe in our strength and resilience of our young people to alter the course of history. And let me remind all of us, any time the history of this country has been altered, that charge has been led by young people. And come 7th December, we will lead that charge to our Today, today we have come here with our brother, our dad, the humble, calm, and responsible, and sometimes John the man, the man who promises and delivers, the man who presided, the man who presided over one of the best economic conditions under the Republic. Republic. We know that this is natural. We know that this matter of our community leader impeded the evil schemes of the nation records who sought to capture the state for their families and business interests. Mr. President, we know that it was for this reason that they procured foreign consultants in 2016 and 2020 to manufacture evil propaganda, health truths, and benefit lies to discredit it. We know. We knew it that for them to be able to amass this world for themselves and steal from us, they needed to destroy our reputation. But Ghana was set, we all knew that under your leadership, Ghana was set on the right path. To this dubious, to this dubious end, they rallied self-centered clergymen and women, corrupt and corrupt, I use the word evil, but civil society groups and rented media to achieve this agenda. Today, this man of God, religious groups and civil society have suddenly disappeared and become deaf, dumb and blind to the vital acts of corruption, state capture and untold hardship unleashed on Ghanaians by Baumia and the Kufado administration. Their hands are now free from the loot they are stealing. But of course, we know that their consultants are at work again. We are sending a cold warning to them, to this nation record, that the government will not stay idle and watch you do what you do. If you respond with God, they will respond with seven. The honesty and transparency of His Excellency John Ramani Mahama remain unimpeached. He stands tall above all of the nations. Indeed, we recollect with great concern and righteous anger the unjustified accusations of corruption leveled against him in the Herbal scandal. Today, we are made aware that His Excellency John Ramani Mahama was not involved in any of
concerning the Lord in any house of corruption, concerning the elders' saga, the special prosecutor who was appointed by the Father himself, after thorough and diligent investigation, cleared President Mama of any misconduct. President Mama, congratulations. Mr. President, we know that many unsubstantiated allegations that were made against you and the enemies. We knew how it weighed heavily on you, but we are grateful to God that with time you have been vindicated. In the President, Mahama, ladies and gentlemen, we have a leader who promises and delivers. All the many promises he made, he delivered. We have a leader who takes responsibility when there are crises. When the energy crisis happened, he stood before the people of Ghana and accepted full responsibility, even though it was not his making. And he assured the good people of Ghana that he was going to fix it, and he truly fixed it. And he, and he, now that the economy is broken, now that we are in a mess, we need a fixer. And we know President Mahama is capable and is able of fixing the mess of everything in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come here with the man we call the nation leader, John Jamani Mahama, to discuss how we will change and reset the destiny of us young people and Ghanaians at large towards progress. Here is a decent man who will not use the respectful or unbreakable words of his political opponents or ask them to vote for him because he belongs to their religion or case camp. Here is the Bahama who tolerates even his sworn enemies, critics and opponents and even breaks bread with them. And today, we are telling many of them to come out and apologize for all the hate and sex about him. Dear citizens, dear citizens, that we are in a crisis is not in doubt. However, of greater concern for us is that our democracy is at stake. As we commemorate International Youth Day, we must take stock of how far our country has fallen and appreciate the full extent of the dangers that we face if we do not change course. Young people are losing interest in our democracy. We should remember, we should remember as young people how we have been robbed of our dignity as human beings and how our future has been stolen from us. More significantly, we must not forget to hold the government accountable for our suffering. And we must do so by joining His Excellency, John Dramani Mahama, to reset, to reset the destiny of our country. We must stand up and be counted as a young person at this material moment. Ghana demands of you your time and devotion. And who better to lead us, change this corrupt and inept government than the one who has done that before? I did that, John Ramani Mahama. Finally, finally, Uncle John and Auntie Nana, we want to assure you and the three of us as your youth leaders, together with the baby Ghanaian youth out there, promise you that the NBC youth win and the youth of Ghana shall win you our capital of the
know that by then it's committed. This election is about revolution without the gun. It's a revolution of mind and wit. It's a revolution where the gun will be the balance and we will go out there and vote properly. And we will make sure that that ballot box is protected. But we haven't moved at all. 
because what is quality remains quality. And whether they try to plagiarize or steal our ideas, we know that our ideas cannot be, be, be stolen by anybody. I want to thank every single one of you here and the millions of Ghanaians who are watching and listening to us today. As we gathered here this morning and we sang the inspiring words of our national of our anthem, which uh, my sister Sherima described as uh, the NDC national anthem. The words of that anthem said, Arise, arise for God, all patriots of the land. And then we sang the youth anthem, and that youth anthem says, Arise, Ghana youth, for your country. Now, now what, what, what I tell you, 